Boom, what up, so... Ooh. Boom, what up, so over next and only here, back doing some more League of Legends action. Forgetting my own name, what? Uh, playing some Cho'Gath up in the top lane. Got buffed this patch, they buffed up his E, so... We're gonna be doing an E max build. When you do E max, you wanna get tanky. I mean, you could go, with, like, AP, but... If you're doing E max, you generally need to auto attack a lot. And you wanna be tanky if you're sitting up there in melee range auto attacking. We're gonna go for, like, a Sunfire tank build. Should be pretty good. I don't know if we get Sunfire this game, though. Depends. Uh, against this guy. They have so much magic damage, too. I'm probably going Abyssal Mask first item. That's weird. Why are you playing like that? Goofball. Walking the bush. Ooh. Definitely get these three hits on him. Cho'Gath! What's up, baby? Cho'Gath in the building! How you doing? Alright, let's push this in. Oh, I don't have mana for it, are you kidding me? Oh no, I forgot about movement speed. I'm gonna wait and get- oh, alright, mind. I was gonna say, I'm gonna wait and get the grass pit at the last second, see if I can bait him. I, I know I'm not gonna die there. I was gonna wait and get the grass pit later. Alright, I'm gonna go for this. Can go. That's uh, not as good as this, I think. We'll TB right now. Grab this. Sweet. I'll be very tanky now. Let's go. What's up, brother? You're getting pop, man. Oh my god, this guy's getting lit up. I need to get a ward down. Oh, there's jungle spot side. I can hold my ward for a little bit. See his jungle down here. So yeah, Cho got Cho got his E buffed. It went up by like 20 damage, but that's 20 per hit. So, for landing our abilities, it should be pretty good. This man is like one shot. What the hell? Why are you so squishy? There's no items. I don't really care if he hits me. As long as I can get out in time. Get a grass pit. I'll take that all day. Our passive is healing from minions, well, from any, any unit killed. But in lane, obviously, it's going to be minions. So we're going to get healing for every, and mana back, for every minion that we hit, or kill. So just make sure you blast it correctly. In the mid game, when it's, well, not mid game, but at like level 8, level 9 area, you get so much healing. It's like 300 health per minion wave as long as you're last hitting correctly. Oh yeah, it's enough time that I need to get that ward down. Almost forgot. Sweet, get that down. Keep emaxing. This guy's a free kill if I get jungle attention. He's just probably not gonna come though. Make sure I don't hit. Oh! Oh! Power shots, goofball, watch yourself. Oh my god. Alright. Carthus can't alter anything. I'm just gonna shove this wave in and leave. We're good. Alright, push. Reset after this. Looking good. I mean, ideally, I would be able to ult before I back. I might stay for one additional wave. Because I know he left too. I'm gonna get a plate proc potentially. I really just want to get one more level up so I can use my feast really quick. Because when you go back to base, you're, you know, running back to lane, obviously. So you're killing a whole bunch of time. Like, it takes 30 seconds to walk back to lane. I could have my ultimate on CD for those entire 30 seconds, right? Well, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. Get the cannon with feast. Beautiful. That's too greedy. Let's walk away. It'd be too greedy to save for those last two. Just walk away. I'm fine with this. He's going for magic resist. Smart man. We're going to get this component next. Looking good. Can I get both, actually? Yeah, I can. That's very good for me. I could get boots right there as well. This is fine. Like I said, drop the ultimate. By the time we're even walking back to lane, it's already 50 seconds. When we actually get to lane, it's going to be like 20 seconds away. We just wait a little bit, it's back off a of CD, we're good to go. Quick rundown of everything though. Again, passive gives healing and mana back per kill of a, any unit. So, anything. 
But yeah, it ends up being like a lot of health and a lot of sustain each wave, especially when you just sit back Q farm or something, because you get like half your mana back. Uh, Q is a little circle, circle knock up, does decent damage, does a ton of damage if you do the AP build, because it's got 100% AP ratio. But when you're not doing the AP build, the tank build, you want to E and then W second. So w is going to give you a longer silence and it trades only like you get 50 damage for each point into Q and you get uh or sorry you get 55 damage for e Ooh. this ain't it chief oh thick I'll be honest I thought that was going to be a little bit more I know he didn't have the indicator on him but I thought I was going to Get a little bit more damage beforehand. Ooh. Karthus, use ultimate! <laughs> oh, that's bad. I got the Q in front of him. Dodge that and just walk away here. Nice. Uh, I might just reset. This wave's gonna slow push to me. Actually, we're gonna see if we can make a play on this guy. After he presses Q, is probably when I wanna go in. Then he can't disengage me as I go for him. Is he not even a press Q? I just missed a minion, so. Just disengage here. I'm not actually gonna be able to finish the play. He's playing like somebody else is nearby. I wouldn't be able to, yeah, see. Told you. This guy is so close to being killable. I have ult back in 10 seconds too. That's probably where we're looking to make a play. He's gonna walk up and queue these. Oh, if I hit that, I would all end. Damn. Uh. Gotcha, bitch. Is Karthus holding for me? No. He's holding for Balin. Alright, got him that time. Pretty good. I think he was being a little over eager. Over aggressive. Because he had his teammate around. Then his teammate left, so. What are you gonna do? Bye. All right, sweet. Get that. I don't think he has TP yet. So I want to try and push for one plate and then leave. Because I have Demolish. The dude plates very quickly. Get the proc. Try and clear out the wave as well. With the E. Ah, shit. I think E is such low cost mana wise. You basically always have it up. By the way, I see where the jungler is, so I'm kind of okay to do this. If I didn't know where jungler is, I'd be a little bit more careful. Just gonna reset, grab this in boots. Looking good. But yeah, E's doing 70 damage per auto. That's on the base damage part. And then it's also doing 4% of the maximum uh, HP. Of the enemy's max HP. So against tanks is obviously very good, right? So that's a ton of damage right now. They buffed the base damage part, that 67 part. That's the part that they buffed. The percent HP damage part was, has been there always. It does a ton. And then it, you get additional based on how many stacks you have. And that's per auto. That's 70 damage additional plus 4% per auto. And it keeps scaling. We're not done yet. And then each stack that we get is going to increase it by 0.5%. Uh, and the way your stacks work with your ultimate is you can get uh, stacks on minion. I mean, you can get them on anything. You can eat anything with your ultimate, obviously. But you can only get six uh, stacks off of regular minions and regular jungle monsters. After that, you can only get stacks off of like epic monsters. So Baron, Dragon, Rift. And the bot popping off. Baron, Dragon, or Rift, or Champions. That's all. Shove these waves in. It went mid, so I'm just gonna keep pushing here. <laughs> I don't know. Proc that. Uh, he's still sitting in mid lane. I mean, I have teleport, but it's just kind of awkward. I don't really think I'm gonna do much. Oh, we got knocked up. It dodges though. I'm gonna get a ward over here. Start walking away. All right, cool. Feast immediately. If this guy's not contesting me at all, and I'm not gonna be able to use my feast to kill him, I want to get to those six as fast as I can. Right? Easy way to do it is just feast instantly in lane. Because I also have ultimate hunter, so we're gonna get our ultimate. Our ultimate is already getting reduced. I'm, I'm moving here. I'll be here. We 
Beautiful. Knock him up, silence him. Nothing you can do. Unfortunately, my ult's on TD right now. Uh, we should leave this. We should leave this. I don't have ult up. It's not worth trying to take that fight. I just ward behind us, clear this wave. Oh, I didn't finish that point with W. Uh, your W gets uh, time off of its cooldown, and the damage is only like five. Like this gives you 50 damage per point. This gives you 50, or sorry, this gives you 55 damage per point. This gives you 50 damage per point. This doesn't get any CD reduction or anything else. This gets CD reduction and increases the silence duration. So it's just straight up better. Uh, we're gonna get Merc this game for sure. Here, get one of these. I'm going to TP back. Oh, I should have TP'd bottom. Bro, I thought about it, but I was like, the ADC is not even there. Again, just gonna feast right away. That's literally why I, I TP'd back too. Put feast on cooldown instantly. We just don't hit him, that's all. I'm gonna walk up and hit this. Walk away. I get a ton of healing off the wave, remember? We can just farm it up. Like I said, this is that point in the mid game where we just heal so much. And if you go like revitalize and stuff too, you can get even more. But yeah, that was 47 per minion right there. There's six minions, you know, like 300 health per wave. A little bit less, obviously. 288, right? But we'll take it first tower off of that. Sweet! So much gold there. Uh, what do we need? Two more ultimate stacks? That's really what your focus should be on early game. Obviously getting your farm and like playing well, but trying to get all your stacks up. Because it's 80 health per. Now it's uh, 120 since we leveled up. And then at level 16 it'd be 160 health per stack. Oh, he's right here. Oh, we got the reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I need help. They're going to come this way, huh? Yeah. I can walk into that and keep pressure. Oh, you just got it. I walk away. Just trying to be aggressive. I'm going to put my ultimate on CD immediately. Sweet. Back it up. A uh, couple options. Don't know if I really want to go Sunfire this game. Oh, he's actually going to do Rift right now. Whoops. I'm going to go over to help. I'm going to take Scuttle Crab first. So if they do come, we can fight. I might actually just walk into mid lane to help this guy. It's under tower with like 2 HP. I got you, brother. I don't have my ult up, so... I could get a free stack right there. It would have been better to have my ult for that. I didn't really foresee Graves doing that though. I'm just going to walk down here, clear this wave, with, get one ult, then leave. I see the jungle bot side, so I'm not afraid of anybody here. We hit these ones. Wait the five seconds. Get this. Then we can just reset. Perfect. Alright, that's our last stack on minions. We're not going to use it anymore. Well, we're not going to use it like that anymore. Alright, sweet. I think I'm going to go Righteous Glory this game. I really am going to have to catch people in the back line. Like, stays really far away, stays really far away, stays really far away. In order to get close to them, I'm going to need movement speed. So it's like Righteous Glory slash Dead Man's type stuff. It'll also give me a little bit of armor against this guy as well. And some HPs. A pretty effective item in this situation. Uh, I got ult up 30 seconds for that. Dragon, but I don't know if we're contesting it. Yeah. Looks like we're just giving. Oof. Uh, I don't think we get tower. Oh boy. I'm just watching these two. <sighs> that was such a bad play, dude. <laughs> Jesus. We're not even gonna get any damage off of that. So sad. What a terrible use of Shelly. Oof. Uh, I can just hold mid for like ever. So. If he walks back this way, there's no, like what? There's no way. I'm just gonna walk in here. Just need a beast. There we go. I hit. Oh, I choked it. I suck. He's almost in him. You can just walk forward here. 
Yeah, he's almost him. And then he casted like 45 abilities. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is awkward. Uh, I think I want to walk this way. I don't think you beat me. I'm gonna leave here. Actually, I can just shove this wave, no one's coming. Oh, Blitz is now. I wanna leave. Time to go. I have my item in base. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Alright, after this, I'm probably gonna get Gargoyle Stone Plate. Because I just have so much HP when I do uh, Cho'Gath. The way you feel, well, the way I feel like you should play on the other side. Whenever you have a ton of HP, you should always try and get a ton of resistance stats. Because HP scales your resistance stats, and vice versa, right? The more HP you have, the better your resistance are. The more resistance you have, the better your HP is. So when you get a bunch of, like, champions are different, right? Some champions get a bunch of free armor magic resist. Some champions get a bunch of free HP. Cho'Gath's the bunch of free HP champion. Hmm, that sucks. Got the Zanyas. Got the Zanyas. Good thing I bought that. Does this guy have ultimate? We need to hit a fiddle ult. Uh, the Blitz always being here is a pain in the ass. Hopefully really can get some stuff off of her split push. I'm trying to peel for him, but it's difficult. Oh, nice. I hit, I hit, I hit, I hit. Man, he's asleep, dude. I swear to God. Wake up, dude. If you ult immediately, that's a free kill. Now he's ulting. I do so much damage. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> that guy got melted. Jesus. Bro, he has zero mana. How is he hitting every ability still? What the heck? He definitely push for this. It's an awkward play. I hit, I hit, I hit. Alright, walk away. Where's that flash? It's really good. Whew. Yeah, Cho'Gath is ridiculously strong, in my opinion. Uh, Probably still getting the magic resist component first here. Just because I'm spending more gold, I guess. I don't really think it matters that much either way. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Got eight stacks right now. Six on minions, obviously. Two on champions. I can go down and get a dragon, potentially. <coughs> or a rift. Why not Sunfire? Uh, I, I love Sunfire on this on this champ, but think about how this game is playing out. Range champion that's hitting me from far away. Range champion that's hitting me from far away. Range champion that's hitting me from far away. Like, yeah, if we were fighting uh, this guy, it'd be good, but do I really need to build to beat this guy? I don't think so. So the only people I'm ever going to be in melee range... If I get hooked, then I'm probably dying. That was so weird. What? Ooh. Oh, that's bad. I'm trying to find the knockups on the people in the back. We really need them chasing into us so that we can get value off of. Uh, this is available. I'm about these fights, man. I'm gonna try and get that for him. We can kill this guy. Got the knock up here. Walk away. Ward over. Cool. I don't care if he hits hook. I'm gonna walk into this. I hit that fiddle old. Oh shit. Got a tank in the bush. I'm hitting that. I need a back. I can hit this. I'm just hitting Qs, man. If I'm hitting Qs, we're gonna win. You should do it. Try and rush it. Nice. Very good. Mm-hmm. Just gonna bail. 
Sweet. Not bad. Not bad at all. I teleport. <clears throat> Zoom back real quick. That's kind of a pointless back, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Went back for like a tiny bit of HP and mana and then 270 gold spent. Not very good. Not very good. But you know what is very good? Cho'Gath. 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 Been a good game so far. Team's playing pretty decent. Trying to make a comeback here. I like it. I mean, bot lane got destroyed, obviously, but as long as they can find like decent ultimates, fiddle six, obviously. As long as you can find decent ultimates, I think we're gonna win. This is kind of being greedy, but I'm ridiculously tanky, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> Just wandering around. Uh, we're gonna let this guy split. I don't. I mean, I could split too. I would like to split. It wouldn't be bad, but. Aurelia has a really good split pushing build, so we'll just let her do it. I'll stay with the team. Then I can just stand in front, eat all the hooks, walk at people to zone out their backline. Because their backline still has to walk away from me. They have to keep, like, basically how these... Think of, uh, think of, like, mag magnets, right? Remember when I was a kid where you'd flip the magnet and they'd, like, push each other away? That's essentially how my positioning works with their range champions. They're going to try and, like, stay about a certain amount of distance away from me the entire time. So if my team's standing behind me and I walk forward, the enemy has to respect me and back away. Because if they don't, I'm going to get up into range and then they're probably going to die, right? So they have to keep that, like, distance. So as long as I stay in front of my team, they're not really going to be able to do much to the other three people on my team. I mean, if you say so, you want a 1-3-1, one, one, I'm not a big fan of it. So you're just going to get hooked and then we're going to lose. But, yeah. We'll see. I'm going for this guy. Ugh, man. That's why I didn't want to leave, bro. Because y'all troll. I'm not listening to Moron's pings anymore. Who's pinging it? Zaya. My man, you're 1-3. And you're part of a 1 and, or 2 and 8 bot lane. Why am I listening to your stupid ass pings? Oh my god. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this! Oh my god, dude, they don't know you're there! Ult that shit, brother! What the fuck? We need fiddle ults here. Come on, man. Play the game. But Come here, come here. Come here. There's no way we let them in this choke. There's no way we let them in this choke. Bro, what are we fucking doing, man? I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. All right. <laughs> now he goes, dude. <laughs> Finally, whatever. I'll take it. Good, good job. <laughs> Just go, dude. Just go. <laughs> it's so easy. Just go. All right. <laughs> Jeez. I lose my goddamn mind. Dude, ooh, nice. I mean, as long as I don't hit him. I don't have Sunfire, so I don't play aggro either. Dude, they were so fucked. All we had to do was hold this choke point. How are they going to funnel into this choke point against a Cho'Gath? Like, our team comp will destroy in a choke point. Oh, this guy's dead. Pop this. Mm. I'm okay here. We just walk away. I have ult back in a few seconds. I'm hitting that. Silence it. Nah. I got the ult, but I died to the other guy. It's okay. Um, Let's see. 4,000 health. One's, I can go more armor and magic because of this still. I have so much health. Literally because of this. <laughs> it's giving me 1320. And then also, what? Another 226 off of overgrowth. Hmm. Need heavy armor and magic as this item still. What to buy, what to buy, what to buy. I could just get a random ones again against a lot of crit damage. I think that'd be a really high value thing. Random ones would just share up thorn mill. It's just thorn mill's not really that valuable. They need to have more healing for thorn mill to be valuable. Especially against like a crit user. It's really Hmm. I don't know, man. We're gonna get random ones here. So, buy this. Boop. 
do do. I'll take it. Won't be able to get a stack off of this, unfortunately. What's our CD on this now? 48 seconds. Hell yeah, that's really good. Ooh, let's try to contest it. Yeah, we can just walk to this. Bro, they, we, what? Yo, this guy's dead. Yo, get your asses over here! This guy just 1v1 the jungler. Let's go. That's a Baron play. Get vision down. Oh, oh they're gonna ult this. It's actually not a bad idea if he hits it. I think we should just go here. Cause then we can get a fiddle ult from over here. I think it'll be better. All we need to do is have fiddle wait and look for an R. I don't want to use Q anymore. I don't even know if they'll contest, man. Part of me thinks they're not even going to contest. They just don't have jungle. How are they going to? I tried to ult it. I just too slow. Oh, this is a play. I'm really fast with the uh, Righteous Glory. Nah, I missed it. He's so fast, dude. <laughs> These assholes. Hit. Oh, nice dodge, man. Oh, what the heck? I just gotta eat this damage from my team. Press this, Gargoyle Stone Plate. We can go here. Uh, CC forever! Oh my goodness, bro. Intense. Definitely gonna get this item. That's definitely the way to go. <laughs> Kinda got stuck in there. It was pretty bad. Could have just bailed with our Baron. Definitely went a little too deep. I thought I was gonna hit those, but he dodged every one of them. She's so fast with strut movement speed. But. This bot lane. <laughs> oh, good. Sweet. Uh, what's dragon? Three minutes. Baron's four. As long as we still have one up. I do have a teleport. No good ward, so. Maybe like here. I think it's worth still. Please walk forward. Please walk forward. I have to not get, I don't know, I have to wait. <laughs> just hit back a little bit. That's gonna hit W. We're good. E this guy, we're good. Go for him. Q forward. Beautiful. Got him. A mid. I got a little nervous because I didn't have this available. But we good. We good, we tonky, baby. Oh, he misses those. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, I've never choked so hard in my life. Pop this. Nice. This is a damage reduction. I know it gives you extra HP, but it's literally a damage reduction. That's how it like actually functions in the game. It's a 26%, I don't know the exact, like it's, it's 26 point something and 56 point something. But when there's uh, two or less people around, you get 40% uh, of your HP, and then when there's more three or more, you get 100% of your HP, and also you get more resistance stats as well. But it's a 26% damage reduction when you pop it with nobody around or two or under, and then it's a 56% damage reduction when there's three people around. Just trust me, that's how it works. <laughs> All right, beautiful. And also the, uh, it reduces your damage when it's active. So increase your health by 40%, increase the champion size, but reduces damage dealt by 60% for four seconds to 90 second cooldown. And then if stone skin is active, the health, uh, so that's that first part. If there's three people around, basically, stone skin gives me double the resistance stats. If there's three people around, so it's really good when I'm in the middle of an entire team. I just want to get this. If I find anybody, I would just pop righteous glory and look for a kill. I still think we should go for this guy. I'm gonna move here. If we find him right there, we just pop Righteous Glory and we go kill him. I don't know why you're question mark pinging. <laughs> I think it's a great play. Oh, that's weird. All I have to do is eat this. 
Oh wow, he somehow got hit there. That's atrocious. I die. Ooh, just kidding, I have so much magic resist. I'm a beast. That's a game ender, right? We just walk mid. He was dead, right? Is that why he did it? Or did he do it in base? He did it in base, actually. Alright. Let's see if we can end this. Whew. That's bad. I see it's so much healing. God oh, damn. I don't know if we can do that. I think we should just go get this. That's probably the better way to play this. Uh, just leave. Get this and leave. I'm gonna take this camp because there's so many little minions here. I'm gonna heal for so much off of it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Let me ult that. Why? 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 You want me to fucking guess when it's at 3,000 health? Come on, dude. It's 160 health. Why not just give me a free stack? So stupid. Oh, why are people so dumb? Uh, I still just want more resistance stats. So we're going to probably go magic resist here. It's probably going to be this. I have so much health, I don't want more health. Like, don't get a warmogs here. Might be able to come in like five seconds. Oh no, he's dead. Yeah. It's really bad. I don't know if they can do Baron off of that, but we need to try and get into the area so they don't get control. They're gonna have to send at least one person back to defend this. This is a kill that we should look for. We're okay. Pop this. I just need to ult somebody. There we go. I think we still win. If this guy does any damage. Oh no, he's gonna die. Oh no, never mind. Nice. And he got this other one too. Can they just end off that? These two are alive still. One's chasing. I don't know if they can. We're gonna get a bunch of damage from the minions here though, but. Do I ate so much damage? That was a really good hook by the Blitz. I mean, I have a giant. Giant hitbox, so there's not really much I can do to defend against that. I try to dodge, but I mean, it's he's literally <laughs> I take up from like here to here, dude. It's so hard to miss. I wish I got my guard roll off a little faster, but that's fine. I got a lot of damage reduction there. Uh, as long as I can get out, I teleport. You need to get over there immediately. I'm teleporting in. I'm gonna buy a potion here. Sweet! What's our E doing for damage? 9% plus 80 something. We just want Fiddle hitting ult here. That's a kill. I'm flashing over this. Bye! Easy peasy. This doesn't do anything. <laughs> This doesn't do anything. Going down the game. I can tank this. I have so much armor. End the game. End the game. End the game. I'll tank everything. We don't need a wave or anything. Just push. I love how I have 144 farm, bro. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> I haven't farmed at all. I mean, I've been farming champions. Just walk under and end it. Build Frozen Heart for 20% CDR. Uh, I don't really need any more armor. It's only one guy. It's like way too much magic resist to Getting MR is better. And I have more armor right now than I have M MR. Anyways. So they have less physical damage healers and I already have more armor. than I have magic resist. So it's probably better just to itemize magic resist there. Especially with Adaptive being god tier against Karthus. His Q spam plus against, uh, what's his face? Velkaz. Because they both have repetitive spells that they're hitting over and over again. So you're getting like 20% reduction on that. Is that pretty good? Nice. We were giant there. You're so big. Easy peasy.
Easy peasy. Numero uno in the damage department. They did a ton, but it just doesn't matter. Crowd control wins games, baby. Like I said, man. I see a fiddle six who's 0-5. I don't really care. As long as he stands in a decent position and uses his ultimate to start fights. Cool with me, man. Cool with me. Took a little bit longer than I would have liked. He was like looking for the perfect opportunity when he just had to pull the trigger, but hey man. I'm happy with it. I'm happy. Nice. Triple honor. Cool, cool, cool. Here are the runes if you want to see them, but yeah. Just ultimate hunter. So get that ult on a low ass CD. Armor and magic was super valuable here. So add those because we're already getting a ton of health. Might as well add these. But yeah, anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching on the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. Follow and be alerted when I go live. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Peace.